My dad left when I was two, so David took on the role of being like that big stoic brother. We lived on a housing estate, and he used to say to me, you will make something of yourself, Shirley. He was my biggest cheerleader. Everything about my brother was geared around my mother and I. He just loved the mortal bones of both of us. Somewhere along the line, my brother was had some bouts of not feeling great about his life. And um, when he was about 44 years of age, he went into this like, depression as I realize it now, so suffering from some mental health issues. I didn't understand about it. I used to just say, oh, come on, Dave, you're fine. You're fine, come on, you'll be okay. And there was this one particular occasion, my son was singing in London, and I said to my brother and my mum, why don't you come down to London? Have a little bit of break. No, you're not feeling well. Come down, we'll have a great time. And he said, no, let me mum go. I want to stay. And uh, she came to London. We watched my son sing. It was six o'clock the next morning to cut a very long story short. And the police knocked up on the door and they just said, Mrs. Rich, and I stepped aside and my mother moved forward. And they said, we're so sorry to tell you that your son has died. And I think that we just stood there in utter disbelief because I think Anybody who knew my brother, it was the furthest person ever that would take their own life, for sure, for sure. I struggled for many, many years thinking if I had known more about men's mental health, if I would have been more educated, if I would have stopped what I was doing for a moment, if I would have told my mum, stay there, you know, if, 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 and you go through your life and you do blame yourself and you have to live with that and, and you... It plays a part in your heart for the rest of your life. I feel, I, I'm going to say this, I, I never thought I'd say this, I'm going to try not to get emotional, but I feel that you've taken that spot over from my brother. I never thought I would say that, but I think over the last three and a half years, which really is about eight and a half years, I think you you can be that person that he was to me in my heart, you know? So. That's quite a big thing to say, that's yeah. <laughs> <Come here. laughs>